Hi all. In this lecture, we will talk about CCA 175 Real Time Exam Scenario 6. Let's see the data description. Get the data from Metastore table named Orders. Table is present in the database default. Output requirement says that fetch orders from January 2013 to December 2013. Use Parkway format for the output files. Place the result in HDFS directory and compress the output using gzip compression. So, in order to solve this problem statement, we have to understand how to fetch data from Hive Meta Store. Then, we have to apply gzip compression on top of the data and we have to save the data as a parkway file format in HDFS. So, let's go to the lab and see. This is my Spark shell. Hive support is already enabled in Spark session. Let's see that. So, what we can do is we can see all the tables which are present in Hive Meta Store. Let's validate that. We can say Spark, which is of type Spark session, Spark.catalog.list tables, which returns a data set. On top of this, we can call a show. And see, we have orders table. We have orders table in default data set, in default database. Now, let's try to read this table. So, what we have to do is, let's read the table. Well, orders is equal to spark.sql. Okay. So, let's read the entire data first. After looking into the data, we will be firing another query with a where clause. So, first of all, let's see how the data looks like. So, I'm going to say, select star from default dot orders this is my query which gives me a data frame orders so i'm gonna say orders dot show and just give me five records or maybe yeah five records okay so this is how the data looks like now what we have to do we have to apply a filter operation on top of this data so that the order date is between January 2013 to December 2013. So what I'm going to do now is, again, let's use the query. Okay, so my query is select star from default dot orders where order date is between 2013 01 01 and 2013 12 12 so this is my condition so i have put a where clause now and okay this is my complete query let's see that now Again, if we see orders dot show, okay, so this is the data I am interested in. Now, the other requirement is we have to save this data in HDFS using gzip compression and in Parkway format. So, let's do that. So, I am going to say orders dot write, which returns a data frame writer. On top of that, I have to apply a compression. So, I am going to say option. Inside option, I'll say compression and my compression is gzip dot parkway because we have to save the data in parkway file format. Now, what is the output path? Let's see that. So, this is my output path. Let's save the data and we are done. So, let's validate quickly. Copy the path. And go to the other console that we have. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say HDFS DFS hyphen ls and provide the path, HDFS path. Okay, so we are able to save the data in HDFS successfully, and we can see that the data is extension is .gz .parkway. That means the data is stored in Parkway file format, and gzip compression is applied on top of the data. Now. How to see the content of the data here? 
For that we need Parquet Tools dot jar. Hadoop jar Parquet Tools dot jar cat hyphen hyphen JSON and providing the path of Parquet file. Let's see. So this is my data. So the data is in JSON format. This is how we can validate the data. So in this lecture we have understood how to fetch data from Hive Meta Store using a SQL query and then how to save data using gzip compression and in Parkway file format. Thank you.